In this video, I want to show you how you can create a transparent structured applique that can basically take any outfit from a 0 to 100. You can attach this to any part of a dress or a blouse. It could be the neckline, the sleeve, the waist, the hem, whatever. Just get creative. You're welcome to Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Omorube. Here are some materials you will need for this. First is the polyester crinoline, also called crinoline mesh. This will help give structure to our pieces and it's quite transparent. Secondly, you need a hemming glue, which just help in sticking surfaces to the other right. And another type of glue which you need is this regular fabric glue. You can make use of Uhu glue, B6000, and you know whatever has been working for your fabric so far you need this plier that can help you in cutting the copper wire which i'm introducing to you next so you also need a copper wire this is the 1 mm type and this is the 0.5 mm type depending on what you want okay i prefer using the 0.5 mm type because it's less visible but if you want to create a firmer structure you can try out the 1 mm variants next you need your lace fabric or net fabric anything transparent will work for this i'm making use of this fabric which is basically just a decorated net you see it, it just has some glittering on the surface but it's actually very transparent to start with i will spread my fabric on the table and layer it with hemming glue you don't want to leave any part of this out make sure that your glue spread across all the part of the fabric that you need or that you're currently working on so once that is done i'll place my crinoline mesh or polyester crinoline like i mentioned earlier on over it and you need to steam press this till the hemming glue is no longer visible okay so i went on to my ironing table to you know do this process while pressing make sure that you place a piece of fabric or an ironing cloth over it just to protect the mesh and to make sure that you don't have any stain on it and then you need a steam iron not just a dry iron to make your job easier because the hemming glue has to melt completely okay it has to be invisible don't have to go at once okay you can work on a part of the fabric then go ahead to layer again place your crinoline mesh on it and steam press again so that was what i did for mine now here is a piece of fabric layered with crinoline mesh and you can see that the hemming glue is less visible i can still see some tiny lines there but that won't be a problem at all next pick up a piece of paper and draw a pattern i am going with this leafy design that i have noticed is quite common you can go ahead and create like a longer leaf or even flowers depending on what you want to achieve with your design so i am cutting this out even after i was done i went ahead to still trim it because i felt it was big for what i was aiming for <laughs> then place this on your complex let's call this a complex now and you know cut it out one piece after the other you can actually fold this fab this fabric layers and you know cut out multiple pieces at once okay so this is what we have you can see how firm it looks that's what you should be aiming for while creating yours so i went ahead to cut more pieces and you may have to count depending on the quantity you need so these are mine next we want to create like another layer of these with a copper wire in between so pick up your pieces and then measure the length of the design then you need to cut out your copper wire and glue it using the fabric glue on the wrong side okay the wrong side is basically the side with the crinoline mesh not the right side of your fabric okay if i didn't mention this earlier on the part that you attach the hemming glue on the fabric should be the wrong side not 
the right side of your fabric okay so between the wrong side of the fabric and the crinoline mesh that's where you should have your hemming glue so now i am using my fabric glue to attach this copper wire onto it okay you can just place your glue on the fabric first then put the copper wire on top or while holding the copper wire you place your glue on top of the copper wire so that the glue flows down and you know holds it down whichever one works for you you may want to put like a bowl of water beside you when working with this glue so that it doesn't stick to your fingers easily and it allows you to work okay without worrying <laughs> So just continue with this process you need to do this for each of the leafy design or whatever design you created here we have our fabric appliques in the making and <laughs> behaving themselves as they should so once this step is done go ahead and place hemming glue some people call this hemming gum <laughs> jesus hemming gum actually so <laughs> just place it over each of your design make sure that it completely covers every part of it and after this is done i'm going to place my fabric on this okay i'm no longer using another crinoline mesh on this but there's nothing against that if you want like a thicker layer it you can definitely go on with another crinoline mesh and fabric complex okay but i'm just making use of only my fabric right now so i'll be placing my fabric on this and then i'll cover it with a plain colored fabric preferably cotton fabric or an ironing cloth just so you don't stain your appliques so having done that i'll go ahead to steam press again now i move this onto my ironing table and did it okay so here we have it you know all our stuffs are now stuck together so i'll go ahead now to trace out my design from this this is easier than you know just cutting one one piece of fabric and all that it also helps to make sure that your edges are uniform okay so we have this i'll go ahead and cut out the rest and then i have lots of layers of <laughs> structured appliques to work with so this is what we have right here you can see how lovely it looks we haven't lost any detail any shiny detail right here so your copper wire helps your design to stay flexible that's why when you place it on an outfit you see the way it's just flowing you can bend it and then you're wondering how was this done how did they do this how 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 okay so it's just the copper wire helping the flexibility now if you're a little bit adventurous you may want to design the edges or even the center um i went ahead to do that on some of the pieces just to show you guys what i'm talking about so i just place fabric glue on the edges of my design then place a cup chain on it now don't ever trust these glues don't don't trust them if you don't want stories that touch okay so if you're using glue to attach a cup chain or bead or whatever on any outfit make sure you go ahead to stitch it sometimes even sun you know a hot sunny day can just destroy your work <laughs> so yeah so just for demonstration purpose i didn't i didn't sew in my cup chain i just glued it down and i went ahead to place some stones on it you can also go ahead to you know play around with beads pearls and all that but you can see the difference between the one i worked on and the plain type it just depends on the vibe you're going for it didn't lose any flexibility but it definitely made it a little bit heavier okay so having done this i decided to use this as a design on a miniature wedding dress we created in class and i'm just placing it somewhere in the front you know to give like a sleeve vibe <laughs> so when placing it make sure that you take advantage of the flexibility of the leaf and just bend it the way you want it to look this is what the one we designed the one we did more work on looks like okay so guys this is the finished work and yeah 
you can place this anywhere like i mentioned earlier on it can work for your sleeve your neckline your waist or even the entire ball parts of a wedding dress i went ahead to play around with mine on the waistline and i'll show you guys later on in this video so here is it thank you guys for watching i appreciate you please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't once again my name is kemi omorube this is kemafric see you in my next video bye